Hey everyone, I'm Vanessa Keir. Welcome to my short video on how to use the Windows version of Scrivener to track your word count goals for your NaNoWriMo project. So we need to access our project targets. So we go up to Project, Project Targets, and you will see that our bars here are zero because our totals are right now set at zero words for our targets, but that's not what we want. We want a minimum of 50,000 words for NaNoWriMo, and you'll notice that the green immediately disappeared. And since this is a brand new document, and I doubt you've gone through and created a bunch of documents that you have split between include and compile and don't include and compile, you can just leave this next option ticked. Any words that you type inside your manuscript folder over here in your binder are what is going to count towards this 50,000 total. Unfortunately, your session target will count words outside of your manuscript target. So for the purposes of NaNoWriMo, I'm not actually going to show you um, how to set this up. You could set the 1,667 right there. But again, if you go and type something in your research folder, um, it will count towards that. So in a moment, I will show you how to set it up so that you are um, tracking only that day's word count in um, your actual manuscript. So this is a floating window. So if you want to keep this around, we can just pop it up into the corner here. Okay, so let's go into our scene. And for the method I'm going to show you, I'm going to suggest that you use one text document per day's writing for the month of November. So you would need you would need actually 30 different documents in your um, binder here. I'm actually going to change this to say day so I'm not confused because what you can do is type um, as many scenes into the one document as you want and just separate them with hashtags as you're typing. And then after you've gotten your word count for the day, then go through and separate out the documents using the control K every time there's a hashtag to break it into a new document in the binder. Or you can wait till December 1st and do it all later. So what you're going to do here is set a document target. And to do this, you go down to your right hand corner to the little swirly target circle and click on that. And then here you put in your 1,667 and hit OK. And immediately you see in the footer, now it shows you that you've done zero of your target. And over to the right, there's a progress bar and that swirly circle target turned red, it will turn green when you've met your target. So before you go any farther, what I would suggest is just um, go through and create all of these documents ahead of time. So what I will do is I will right click on day and I will duplicate it. And then I can highlight both of them and duplicate and just keep going until I have 30 documents. And what that does is that means I don't have to go through and set the targets again because every time you duplicate the document, the target goes with it. So um, that's a workaround. Um, if, however, you are somebody who is only going to type in your manuscript folder for this project, you know you're never going to type anything anywhere else in your um, binder here. Maybe you actually want to hide all of these other folders um, beneath a um, major folder that says don't type here or something. Um, then you can go ahead and use your session target. Just be aware that session target is calculated from project open to project close. So if you are somebody who closes the project and goes to launch and then opens it again, this um, count over here will have returned to zero when you reopen the project. So just be aware of that. But if you are somebody who 
thinks that in your off time, after you've met your word count for the day, you want to type in research and stuff, then I suggest trying this document method, which unfortunately is a little clunky. And then what you're going to want to do is if you want to keep a um, overview of each day's daily count and then your cumulative total, you can actually create a simple table in Scrivener, and I'll show you how to do that in a moment. I will also include a link below this video to a website that has Excel spreadsheets you can download that are set up for Nano that will recalculate each day how many words you have left and whether or not you have to up or um, your daily word count because maybe you missed a day. So in order to make my table, I'm going to go into my research folder. I'm going to hit the plus to add a new document. I'm going to call it nano word count. And then I'll click inside the document. And to add my table, I go up to format, table, insert table. Now, this is a two column by two row table. And I think I want to track my date, my daily word count, and my total word count. So that's three columns, and then I need one row for my header, and then 30 rows, one for each day of the month. So I will go back up to Format, Table, Table Properties, and then I need, again, rows are first, so I need 31 rows, that's 30 days in November plus one heading, and then three columns, and I'll hit Apply, and then I will click on the gray and I want my border to be black and everything else is okay. If I had forgotten to hit apply and I moved on to the table border, it would have reset back to the two by two. So always hit apply before you move on. Okay, and then I can just type in my headings. And if I don't like this font, I can do a control all and change it from Courier to Cambria, and maybe I would want a bigger font. Again, this can't calculate, it can't autofill, so you have to type in all the dates individually, and then your daily word count, depending on which method you're using, if you are using my um, individual text document um, method, you would go over to the text document and find out how many words you, you did that day, type them in here, and then you would use this target, the zero of 50,000, will shut the, where the zero is, that will be your cumulative total across each um, day of, so on, let's say, the 25th of the month, maybe you'll be at 46,000 words and that's what you would pull for that day. And you will see here under the session target, this is what I was talking about. So we haven't typed anything under the actual manuscript. These seven words that are showing up for the session are these headers, and this is in the research folder. So that's why using the session target for something like Nano can be problematic. So I hope this has helped you a little bit, figure out how to keep track of your targets as you head into NaNoWriMo. And I hope that by the end of November, all of us will qualify as winners. And until then, happy writing. Bye.